Hey guys, good afternoon. Out here in the great wilderness, Pennsylvania woods, gotta love it. Don't have a lot of time. The weather was really crappy this morning and I didn't think I was even gonna be able to come out, but looked uh, further into the weather and it looked like it was gonna clear up. Sure enough, it did. Beautiful, not a cloud in the sky now, but everything is really wet. I've got roughly, oh, if you can see that, roughly about an hour of sunlight left, uh, and then probably a uh, half hour to an hour of actual light after that left. Not gonna be a lot of time. I have a tarp, I have some food for tonight. Um, I'm gonna try to make a long fire here, uh, or, or at least keep a fire in the fire ring, and uh, use that for warmth as well as my sleeping bags for tonight. Gonna get down to about 32 to 34, which is right around zero to two degrees Celsius for those of you uh, in Canada. But uh, beautiful area, and uh, there's looks like there's a lot of firewood at least here at this campsite. Um, not real far from my car, uh, probably quarter mile at most. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's see if we can dig up some wood and get the tarp shelter put up, get a fire going, and see what we can get into. Thanks for coming along. Let's get lost. We've got a nice big piece of dead wood. It's a little damp on the north side where the rain was coming, but I'm pretty sure we'll get this cut down and uh, it's leaning uh, unfortunately toward this creek. So I'm gonna try to make a notch and get it to fall right toward camp so I can get it cut up and uh, usable for wood. No, not gonna work. It's wet almost all the way through. It's probably dry up top, but that's not gonna work. We need to find something else. Problem is here in Pennsylvania, we've had the wettest year on record almost. We missed 70 and something inches. We missed the all time record by 0.24 inches of rain all year and it was like that all year it rained every weekend almost every day it would just it was really crappy to try to get outside but we make it work right well it's not much but it's a start Walking around looking for wood, and we've got plenty of deer droppings. And this is just one of the areas here. This is right behind where my shelter is going to be. Super, super dense, thick, wooded area. But it's behind my campsite by a good, oh, almost 100 yards my campsites way down in there well here again one of the problems we've had just standing water in these woods i have not seen it like this in a very very long time there's water standing everywhere all through these woods you can see it up in there 
There's water all the way through there, another batch all the way through there, all the way on this other side. It's 360 degree swivel, and there's water everywhere. And there's dead standing, which is good normally. The problem is, it has been so incredibly wet that most of this is so wet on the outside, splitting it is one thing, but getting down into the middle of the thing so it can burn, entirely different story. All right, everybody, little change of plans. Everything is soaked. We had rain most of the evening last night and then all night and all morning through about noon today. The sun is unfortunately going down and I have been unable to find any more dry wood than some of this. A nice big chunk right here, one that I fell with my Gerber pack axe or pack saw, but that's it. And for all night when it's supposed to get down to about 32 degrees, that's not gonna be enough wood. Everything else here is wet. I don't have a tent, I just have my tarp shelter. In order to set up my tarp shelter, I need to find poles to make two tripods and a cross beam. And in order to do that, I have to find uh, wood, but everything is so soaked and it's too big or it's too small. I can't find the right size. I can take plenty of live stuff I don't want to cut down live trees. I just don't want to do it. I want to find all dead wood. That's all I want to use. So change of plans with it being so cold tonight, I'm not going to be able to have the long fire that I wanted. I don't have the wood that I need for the fire for most of the night. I have the, the sleeping bag with a inner sleeping bag and a uh, survival bivy that I brought that will work. That'll keep me warm but not having a way to set up my tarp, that's gonna be the other issue. Now, yes, plenty of trees. You can see all these trees. The problem is there's a lot of widow makers everywhere. And in the spot that I wanted to put my tarp, there's this giant white birch. I believe it's a white birch. If somebody can tell me differently, that would be great, but it looks like a white birch. Uh, from the bark and everything, but even all this, everything I have found is completely soaked. Um, and this goes right up and over. I'm gonna turn around and stand against it down to my shelter. So it's not a good spot at all. The water from up above where you saw here just a little bit ago is running down. And up there is where I was trying to find some more wood but kept finding all those pools of water it's just seeping down through here right in to this campsite and then on down in toward the creek which is very high so unfortunately I don't think I'm having a shelter tonight which is not possible I'm just not going to be able to have um, an overnight without a shelter when it's going to get this cold if it was the middle of spring 50s at night 60s at night no big deal if it was summer oh my gosh not a big deal at all but with it being this cold uh, and a chance of flurries overnight maybe even a snow shower i don't want to be exposed to the elements from above even though you're in a tarp shelter you're somewhat exposed but you can see this is the trail here on the old loggers path. This is what most of the trail looks like is a stream, water, or extremely, extremely wet. So here's something I found. I found those deer droppings a little bit ago. This is from a buck. This is what a buck does when they get a little, a little naughty in the fall. They start rubbing their antlers uh, on these trees on anything soft that'll help rub off the velvet and they'll rub and rub and rub and tear off branches and make little trees even smaller and they'll do this on trees all through uh, these little thick areas that dot these areas 
Now, I know you're not going to see it from here, most likely. There's a little tree, Let's see if I can point to it right in here, that is all rubbed up too. It's another, another little spruce. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be doing an overnight. Can't, can't risk it. I'm out here alone. I know I'm close to my vehicle. If I needed to, I could always go to my vehicle. But what's the fun in that? Um, so we're going to use the wood that I've got collected. We're going to get a fire going. And we're going to make up dinner. We're just going to sit by the fire, maybe play with our knives. and that, Or my knives, I should say. And uh, just have a really good evening. Make a good dinner. I brought some hamburgers uh, that I'm going to grill over the fire. So we've got some wood. Let's get a fire going. There's all these little branches from this broken pine tree that are actually mostly dry. And this stuff will come in real handy. And actually you can hear that and a real good snap sound. So it is pretty dry on the inside. It's not terrible, which is good. So we're gonna use most of this, break off some of the pieces that I can see physically are damp, but they're snapping real good, which is possibly a good thing so we'll go ahead and we'll collect up some of this we'll get a fire going and uh, hopefully get some grub It's a good little amount of small stuff and kindling. Now I just got to get some shavings and I did break off a piece of pine. Let me go grab that. Okay, focus, there we go. All right, so I cut off a branch from a, a pine and it's right next to the trunk. So there's a bunch of fat wood. See right there in the middle? There's a bunch of fat wood in there and there's even some right around the rings. So I'm gonna shave off a, at least as much of the wet stuff as I can and try to get a good amount of shavings of some of this fat wood. So we don't wanna start a fire on cold coals. So we wanna put down a rock and then some of these birch cuts that I did will act as our base so that our fire isn't directly on cold, it's up high. All right, so in the interest of getting this done quick, uh, unfortunately, nothing would take a spark. So we're going to use a Bluet fuel tab and one of these giant strike of fire diamond matches. And hopefully we can get a decent fire going. We are losing light quick, and I would like to start cooking these hamburgers here very quickly. That would be preferred. So we're going to get this fire going here in a minute. Put a brace down and we'll put our leaves and twigs on there, or not leaves, put our twigs there. We'll get the camera out of the smoke and we've got a fire started. But we're not out of the woods, the woods, just yet. Well, it's coming along. Fire! All right, fire is going really well. Using that rock on as a base and those cut pieces of wood underneath really makes a big difference. So if you're gonna start a fire in the woods, make sure you put a dry base that's not wet or cold underneath your fire. Boom. Okay, it's about 4.30. We have a pretty decent fire going, just trying to let some of the coals build here a little bit. It is starting to get dark. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but uh, yeah, here in the woods, it's starting to get dark. I'm pretty open 
it's a pretty open spot. I showed you earlier because some of the deadfall, but I'm, I'm out from underneath it. But uh, you can see it's somewhat open right here. It's real thick back in the, uh, the pines and, and spruce back there. But it is so wet. Uh, that's, that's about the biggest, biggest bummer right now is everything is so wet. So we've got a fire going. I've got a little grill here that is going to sit on top of it here in just a minute. And then I'm going to be cooking up and then I'm going to be cooking up some hamburgers here in, uh, in here just a little bit. Um, starting to get hungry. Been out here for a few hours. Uh, should have been out here much, much earlier, but with the weather the way it was, I wasn't even sure I was going to come up. But it's nice. It, make a day out of it. Uh, just come up, have fun, cut some wood. I uh, used my saw, I used my axe, uh, been using my knife, and uh, just having a good time. That's what it's all about. Oh, that got close. <laughs> Little too close, Eli. Little close. But we get close and we light it. See the fire. Feel the fire. Be the fire. Well, don't be the fire. That would hurt. Oh, look at here. You can see some of the, the stuff burning out of the ends. I don't know if you can see that there, but there's different stuff you can hear it some of the moisture and stuff burning out of the wood pretty cool wanted to give you a, somewhat of a better view of this big big pine tree here that uh, that broke off up here at the top and you can see the cross pieces of some of these branches but also there's a cross piece of this tree uh, that uh, broke and went with it and it's laying all the way across on this tree right here so you don't want a tent or anything there i mean it's wet anyway so you wouldn't put a tent there but this is something you got to look for when you go out in the in the woods is any of these broken pieces of wood that i mean they don't look like they're going to be much but they're called widow makers for a reason folks That piece was still on fire. Gotta watch what you're grabbing, everybody. <laughs> so this is burned down almost enough where I can put my little grill on and just about start cooking. That's the plan anyway. Oh, that one's still on fire. Hello. Little warm. It is a fire. It's going to be warm. Smoke in the eyes. Woo! That'll get you every time. Okay, so I brought this little grill, this little stainless steel grill, and it works good when you can get it together. I did not get it together the right way because I was running out of time and I was rushing. Rushing. I am not rushing. Uh, <laughs> so, what I did do was just kind of throw it together quick. Unfortunately, dropped my burgers several times down into the fire, but hey, it's cooking. They are cooking. It is cooking. We all are cooking. Hada, hada, hada. Like this knife. This is the Buck Comanche. I believe it's called the Comanche. Great knife. Full tang. Look how beefy that is. Look at that. Solid. It's red, which is cool, so I can't lose it when I drop it. Because I do drop it. But, yeah. Really, really solid knife. I'll put a uh, link and uh, information in the description below. Smoke in the eyes! 
Sorry for the smoke in your face, in the literal face. I'm gonna toast up some bread here quick for my burger. I brought four pieces of bread, but I think I'm only gonna do the two, make it a, uh, make it a double. But I did bring some ketchup packets and some mayonnaise for the toppings. Big thing you wanna make sure is you take everything out with you. Everything I brought, thought I heard something walking up behind me. It's that hour. Big thing you wanna make sure of when you come into the woods is you take everything out with you. You, you leave no trace. So I brought everything in these little reusable Ziploc bags. Any piece of garbage, whether it can burn or not, I take it out. I don't wanna leave it here. I don't wanna draw critters to a fire ring and make them think there's food here so that the next time people are here, they get a visitor. So take everything out with you. It's just a good practice. And if you can, bring a bag with you, a garbage bag, and whatever you find on the trail or in the campsite, take it out with you. Listen to the sizzle. That's a little flame broiled, wouldn't you say? It's a little much. Putting the ketchup on the bread. It's getting nice and toasted. The meat's definitely cooked. I'm just letting it, uh, <laughs> I'm letting it sizzle. Flame broiled. This is flame broiled, Burger King. This is what it is. Okay, so burgers are done. Got the mayo on the sandwich. And we are ready. I've got all of the loose stuff thrown in the bag. So all of the stuff is getting packed out. And we're going to, without dropping the burgers again, because I've done it three times and said some choice words, put that and that, yeah. Oh, that smells so good. And, mm, this is gonna be good. Does anybody else wipe their knife off on their pants? I've seen a couple of other YouTubers do it. And uh, does it get gross? Like I can imagine all of the food and everything we, we cut up, it gets a little gross on our pants, doesn't it? Mm. That's a little hot. Just a wee bit hot, let me tell you. Oh, boys. Oh, that's a little hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a hard time holding it. This walk stool, this is the walk stool chair. This is the Comfort 55. Uh, 55 centimeter, 22 inch. Um, I'll put this burger down, let it kind of chill on that rock. One of the nice things with these chairs, they're super comfortable. They can hold a lot of weight and I'm a big guy, right? I have used this chair for hunting. I have used it at basketball games for my daughter's basketball games. But the thing packs up so light and so small, you can take it just about anywhere. I will put a link down in the description again, uh, but you can use it a couple of different ways. You can use it like this, where the legs are not out, and you can almost swivel with it. You can kind of move around and get comfy with it. Or, you extend the legs out, and you've got a really nice tri-type chair that'll hold you. And it holds me, so I know it'll hold you. Fire's just about out. It's almost coals. That's about all it is. But look at this goodness. Come on, focus. Focus. Look at this goodness. It's not focusing. Why is it not focusing? 
probably because it's dark and I'm losing light really fast. You may not see it, but it's getting pretty dark around here. <laughs> the, uh, the woods, I mean, it really, it looks light. It looks like it's so bright in here, but it's not. I promise you, that's about realistic right there. And then the camera wants to make it really bright, but it's not. It's getting dark, boys. And girls. I can't take that tagline. One of, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Joe Robinette, uses that. Boys and girls. Boys and girls. I can't use that. That's not fair. That's his thing. It's not my thing. Guys and dolls? I can't use that either. That's, that's a play. I'll figure it out. I'm going to get my own tagline. And I'm going to start using it soon. Ah. Well, I'm sure you can probably still see me. But uh, it is getting dark. Uh, I just finished the burgers. They're really good. Um, there's just something about eating food over fire. Um, those of you that have done it, that have enjoyed food over fire, whether it's steak, whether it's veggies, whether it's fish, whether it's you name it, rabbit, squirrel, it doesn't matter, deer, venison. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Eating over a fire is awesome. Uh, there's a taste. There's You get some of that flavoring from whatever wood you're using. And to be honest, I was using everything from maple to oak. I know there was a little bit of pine mixed in there, of course. So there's all those different flavors. Who knows? Probably not supposed to use some of it, but it's it's the driest wood I could find, and that wasn't much. So um, I am drinking out of my vapor. Uh, it's a collapsible 32 ounce water carrier. Um, great bag. I have used this before, and you've seen this before. Um, I like them. I love Nalgene. I love Camelback. I love some of the other bottle manufacturers, Clean Canteen especially. Um, Hydro Flask for the stainless steel bottles, Those that and Clean Canteen. Great stainless steel. Love them. Didn't need to bring it this time. Um, but I've got some water that I brought from home. I did not get this out of the stream, so I am going to drink it without boiling it because it's from home. Um, I'm going to get uh, get cleaned up here. I'm going to dump some water on this fire, get it stirred up, and uh, make sure it's out. And then I'm going to get on out of here. Thanks for getting lost with me. Although we really didn't get too lost this time. It's, uh, it's an adventure. It's January 5th. It's like 40 degrees out right now. It's not bad, but it's getting colder. I can feel it. But it's January 5th. Happy New Year, by the way. Cheers. Can I cheers just water? Is that like an etiquette thing? Is it okay to cheer? Cheers? Cheer? Cheers? With water? I'm gonna do it. Cheers! Doink! <laughs> Love that water. All right, so it is starting to get dark and the camera's starting to show it real dark in here. But I'm gonna try to do this so you can see. Here's this vapor bottle, okay? There's the logo, vapor. So you lay it down flat when it's out of water and I have dumped all of this on the fire and you can see I've stirred it up, exposed the rock. It's just steam coming off of it now. But anyway, here's what you can do with these vapor bags. And I'm gonna do this one-handed, but you can fold it and then you can roll it all the way up to the top. You click it, they've got these little carabiner clips to them that you can click on stuff, or you just take this, put it right into your pocket. It's pretty slick, and it's a container. You can't boil with water with it, of course, because it's plastic. But it's a container, and it carries water, and you can put it in a stream or a pond or a water source, collect your water. Then when you get to camp or wherever you're at, you can then pour it into a metal container, whether it's a cup, whether it's a bottle, and you can boil your water. That way you're drinking safe water. All right, we're gonna walk out here into this somewhat clear spot. It's a little brighter out here. And I've got this walk stool 
Now I am not sponsored by them. I bought one years ago um, when I worked for an outdoor company. Actually, I got this uh, given to me. Um, in any case, here is the Walkstool logo. You can find these at walkstool.com. They are made in Sweden. This is the Comfort 55 22 inch. <clears throat> and on the front of the bag, the number one three-legged telescopic stool. But that's it. That's all the bigger it is. Folds up really nicely. Comes in its own little uh, mesh, mesh carry bag. And it comes with a string-type lanyard uh, to tighten down the top. But it also acts as a uh, holder. So you can string it up over your shoulder, over your pack, whatever you would like. All right, so the yellow bag in the middle, that's everything I've got left. Getting everything packed up and packed out of here. There is no trace. I am not uh, leaving anything here. Um, so we'll get, uh, we'll get out of here, we'll get home. I'll get this edited and maybe drop it tonight. Boom, that's not even, I, see, I can't use that either. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to find something like a tagline that I can use. And I feel like I'm being watched by more than just you. You ever get that feeling when you're in the woods and you just have your hair stand up a little bit because you think maybe it's just, you know, the movie stuff in my head or... My imagination. I've got, I've got a big imagination. Let me tell you. But uh, you ever, you ever get that feeling like you're being watched, like something's looking at you? Because I do sometimes, and I've got it right now. Oh well, it's the woods. It's the woods. You gotta love the woods. It's Pennsylvania. Penn's woods, right? That's what Pennsylvania means. Penn's woods. It, it's awesome. I love it. I love it out here. Mm. See, I, I still can't use that. It doesn't feel right. All right, guys, back at the car on my way home, driving uh, probably an hour to get back home. But I wanted to thank you for uh, coming along and getting lost with me. Had a good time uh, getting a fire going, searching for wood, even though I didn't really find much dry wood. Found enough to get a fire going. The fire did not keep going, though. Uh, as I was cooking, really, it went out. I blew it, brought it back to life a couple of times, but really, that was about it. So, it was a good thing uh, I didn't uh, I didn't force the overnight to happen. It would have been a very cold, miserable overnight, and uh, could have potentially brought about frostbite conditions or uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that worked. Could have brought about hypothermic conditions as well and being alone an hour from home uh, about 20 minutes from cell service by car i didn't want to have any of that so so we made it uh we made it fun had a good time used my axe use or my hatchet really used my saw used my knives and uh just played around had a good time cooked up some food and uh, i hope you enjoyed it I'll be making more here as we go through 2019. Uh, thank you to everybody on my Instagram channel, Getting Lost with Eli. Uh, hit 150 followers in three months. And uh, that's a huge, huge deal. Uh, I appreciate it very much. And I know we're gonna go further. I'm looking at 500 by the end of 2019. I'm um, gonna work hard on uh, on expanding the channel and getting more uh, more followers there, as well as YouTube. YouTube, I'm up over uh, 10 followers now, and uh, I started many years ago, 10, 12 years ago, with a YouTube channel for some of my storm chasing stuff. Yes, I am a storm chaser here in Pennsylvania, um, but uh, but yeah, so I started that 10 years ago. Really, I added a few storm chasing videos. A little video of my uh, my baby boy when he was little, little, but uh, not much other than that. So I started doing the outdoor stuff because heck, I've been getting outdoors every every year since I've been my gosh a baby. My mom and my dad took my uh, my brothers and I up to Yellowstone. I grew up in Wyoming, so they would take us up to Yellowstone on uh, on a sled on a uh, snow sled, 
and we would be dragged behind us or dragged behind them in uh, in plastic sleds, which was unbelievable to think of now. But uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty unreal. I don't remember any of it. I was too little, but that just goes to show I've been outdoors for over 36 years, 37 years. Um, I'm 38, I'll be 39 here in July, so I appreciate you coming along on this journey. Uh, I have a lot, of, um, a lot of weight to lose and I'm going to do it by getting outside and experiencing the outdoors even more. So stay tuned, uh, stay with me, keep with me, keep coming with me, keep getting lost with me. There we go, keep getting lost with me and uh, we're going to make, uh, make some memories and we're going to have a good time. So thanks again. I appreciate it. I am Eli Roberts. Thanks for getting lost. I appreciate it.